So it just crossed my mind that some people out there might want to know what my meditative approach was today in the float tank. And you know, when, when I first started going to the float tanks, I used to plan it out, like be pretty strict about it ahead of time on like what type of meditative approach I wanted to use in the tank. But nowadays, because I've been going, I've been going for a long time. Like I gotta be, I gotta be right up around like a hundred or so floats by this point because I've been going for so long. But nowadays when I go, I don't, I don't have any pre-planned stuff. I just kind of get there, say what's up to Jeff, you know, talk a bit and then head into the tank and then just kind of listen to my body and my mind to see what type of meditative approach I want to use, you know, at the moment in the tank. And so then today I went with one I haven't gone, I, I don't go with all that often. So I use my heartbeat as my object of attention in the float tank. And then, you know, I use that basically as a way to get me down in the stage one to sleep and then have these hypnagogic images come up. And then I would switch from following my heartbeat to following the images you know, classic hypnagogic meditation stuff. But um, I think the more interesting thing here is, you know, how I use following my heartbeat to get down into stage one of sleep so I could have these images come up and switch my object of attention. So for that, it works really, really good in a float tank, although you can do it outside of a tank, like in your bed or on a recliner or something. It would probably be really beneficial to like to put earplugs in or something so you can just kind of hear your body better. But yeah, in the tank, because all your other senses are, are so dulled, it makes your own body like really loud. Like my stomach was kind of empty and I had like some liquid in there. So I could hear like my stomach swishing around and stuff. But you can also really clearly hear your heartbeat. So I use that as my object of attention. And then it's also neat how um, when you inhale, your heartbeat will speed up a little bit. And then when you exhale, particularly at the very bottom of your exhale, your heart rate, your heartbeat like slows down. I mean, pretty noticeably. Like to me, it's it's super notice how, noticeable how much, um, you know, it kind of like goes beep, 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 beep. And then like, Beep, beep. <laughs> and then, then it speeds up again but um I'll, I'll like follow it down and then at the very bottom of it when it's at its slowest i try like to play dead like in between the beat and just get completely totally dead relaxed and then inhale speeds up you know energy picks up a bit wake up a little bit drop back down so i'll just kind of use that flow you know as my as my object of attention until i start getting deeper down into sleep plus you can kind of feel it when you're getting close to sleep like even Maybe even before the hypnagogic images come on or just as they're coming on for sure. I can also feel it like in my body. You feel your body being extra relaxed. Kind of like a classic, you know, like a OBE type type exercise there as well. Um, so basically, I was doing that and then hypnagogic images came on. Then I switched my object of attention to watching the images. And then that went on for a good like 15 minutes or so until I got to that basketball scene. And then I tried to let it go as I explained in the previous video. But anyway, so um, yeah, so that's that. Keep the, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, float tank practice legit.